Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to disable the Java update notification on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match to come back a registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. So in order to create a backup, all you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you have to do is select file and then import and then navigate to the file location. And now we're ready to begin. So we're going to start by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the software folder. Locate the WoW 6432 node folder and double click on it. Now go down to Java soft, double click on that. And there should be a Java update folder, double click on it. And then finally, there should be a policy folder. Just left click on that one time. You're going to locate a value on the right side that says enable Java update. If you don't see one in here, we're going to have to go ahead and create it. So right click in a blank area, select new, and then select the word 32 bit value. Name this value enable Java update. Exactly how you see it on my screen. So again, enable Java update, no spaces in between. Hit enter. And now double click on this, set the value data to the number one, a numerical number one, select OK. And now that you're done with that, go ahead and close out of the registry editor. And you want to proceed to restart your computer at this time. And that should be about it. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.